This is a high school math question, but I'm still using the elementary school way to do it. Am I stupid? Well, let's take a look at the question. It says, if 2 to the n and 3 to the 10 have the same number of digits, then we'd like to find out the possibilities for n. Here though, 3 to the 10, it's okay. So if you want to work it out, fine, especially if you just want to get the answer right on the test. But imagine if the test question was, 3 to the 100th power, then in that case, I don't think so. So we must have a better way to do it, and that way is, we can actually use logarithm to help us. So let me give you guys a quick review and then we'll make some observation first, and then we'll solve this question. The key right here is to use log base 10. So here is the deal. Suppose I have log base 10, but if it's base 10, you don't have to write down the 10. I can just say log, let's say we have 1000, and what's the answer for that? 3. Because this is the base 10 raised to the third power gives us 1000. Yeah? And then we can do another one, let's say we have log again, base 10, and let's say we have 10,000. Then in that case, we will get 4, because 10 to the fourth power gives us 10,000. Now check this out. What if we pick a number between 1000 and 10,000. Let's say 2,591. And I'm just going to take log base 10 of this. Let me ask you, what will the output be? Well, the answer is, it must be 3 point something. And the reason is because log is an increasing function. And you see, this number is in between of this and that. So that means the output must be between of this and that. But here, we are not trying to figure out precisely how big this is. We are trying to use the result right here to tell us how many digits that we have right here. And the key is, if we see three point something here, that means this number inside must have four digits. Likewise, if you pick another four digit number, let's say log and then 5,000, yeah? And you end up with three point something as well. Log of four digits, let's say 9997, you will still end up with three point something. The moment you, end, you start with a four, then you will have five digits here, all right? So keep that in mind, this is what we are going to use. So now, how many digits do we have for three to the 10th power? The key to do that is, we will have to check, let me put that here. 3 to the 10th power, but we have to take log base 10, yeah? First thing first, we can put the 10 to the front and it becomes a multiplication because that's one of the properties of logarithm. And this is equal to 10 times log base 10 of 3. And now you might be wondering, how are we supposed to figure this out? I will tell you the way that we do it in Taiwan. Log base 10 of 3 is some number that you have to remember for the high school test. Yeah. Yeah. So this right here I will tell you is about 0 0.477. Okay. Log base 3 you have to know, log base 2 you also have to know. No, log base log of 3, log of 2 you have to know. Yeah. And then but anyway, let's just continue from here. So do 10 times that. Okay? So, if you do 10 times this, this will give us 4.77 something, okay? But anyway though, this right here tells us what? This right here tells us 3 to the 10th power has how many digits? It's 4 point something, right? So it must have 5 digits. Again, if it's 4 and 4 point something, we have 5 digits. So, fast five digits. So, the key right here is five. Now, this is what we want. We want two to the n also end up with five digits. So, what we need to do is, let's take a look at two to the n, and let's take log of it, and then let's put an n to the front. So, this is n times log 2 and again log 2 is some number that you have to remember which is 0 0.301 times n this is log base 10 so that's why it's 0 0.301 okay now 
This expression gives us that, and how do we utilize this? We want to make sure that the result is in between of 4 and less than 5, so we can ensure that this right here gives us 5 digits. So let's just write this down. 2 to the n has 5 digits. implies that we will have to make sure this, which is 0 0.301 times n, has to be in between of 4 and 5. Technically, it has to be equal to 4, but if it's equal to 4, that means log of 10,000, and it's not possible for that to be you know, 10,000, so just, just that, it's okay. And now, you can just use the answer choices, or you can divide 0 0.01 on both sides by use the answer choices, or just kind of think about it, it's easier. So, the first number, if you put 13 for n, 13 times 0 0.3, like, almost one doesn't really matter. If it's 13 times 0 0.3, that's 3.9, that's less than 4, so that's not what we want. But if it's 14, 14 times 0 0.3 is 4.2, so it works. If it's 15, 15 times 0 0.3 is 4.5, it also works. And then 16 times that is 4.8 each, right? So it still works. If it's 17 times 0 0.3, that will be 5.1, that will be too big. So these are the three possibilities for n that will give you 2 to the n to have 5 digits. And that's it.